Me and my husband James saw The Heretic. So I wanted to talk about it. I'm going to talk about the gist of it and then I'm going to get into spoilers and I will warn you. Um, the gist of it is I actually don't think this film was very properly advertised for what you would actually be getting. Um, and maybe this is a spoiler, but I'm just kind of giving you the gist. I mean, Hugh Grant's performance was amazing. Their performances were amazing. But it just, I feel like it had this opportunity to do something really, really interesting that had never been done before in regards to this psychological horror film that dealt with religion and faith. And it felt like it was a little bit of this missed opportunity and I so clearly heard and saw the strong point of view about religion from the screenwriter but it felt like I was being preached to it felt a little bit like they were on a soapbox the whole time and that is so frustrating for me if what I'm doing is sitting there and it's very very clearly I'm like that's the writer right there, their point of view, I can hear it, and they're doing this big monologue for this character so that I can hear their their point of view about this thing versus it very realistically being communicated visually and through characters speaking where it actually has that believability. That's what I think is one of the hardest things to do, and So, for example, I love Mike Flanagan. I think he's great. And his most recent series, The House of House of Usher, Fall of House of Usher, it was so there were so many moments where what I was left with was his strong point of view about society and capitalism, all these things, and I could hear his voice versus hearing the characters' voices communicating and him shaping what they were saying to communicate the theme and point of the piece and that's always really disappointing because it just feels it feels fundamentally inauthentic and it feels like just a little bit more work could be done to have it really really sing Um, and I love Mike Flanagan I actually really enjoyed the fall of the house of the usher but it's like that kind of stuff takes me out of it when I'm watching a film. Spoiler alert, spoiler alert, spoiler alert. Okay, now I'm going to actually get into what happened in the film and so you can kind of understand why I'm why I think what I think. Um yeah, I feel like in the trailer it set it up like they were going to be going through some sort of like labyrinth or Um, like escape room type thing and that they were going to have to deal with like these puzzles and like almost like quests and obstacles that would have them question their own faith and I was like that's really interesting but instead it was it was mostly just him preaching to them and you know, James made this really, really great point where he's like he kept waiting for like some big surprise and some big twist And, like, you could tell that, like, the screenwriter, like, did all the research, like, on all the things that he did. And he had such a strong point of view about religion. But it's, like, it's almost like he wanted people to be, like, look at all this research that I did. Look, I'm so intelligent. But it's, like, almost with this air of, like, isn't this some huge revelation? It's, like, no, it's not actually a big, huge revelation. Everybody knows this. At least that's just my experience. It's, like, I already knew those things none of the things he shared were anything that was new to me and James brought up this example of like you think of like George Carlin right the comic George Carlin you know there's a difference between like and he had that a lot in his set about he had a really strong point of view about religion where it's like there's a difference between like the performance of a point of view if you will and like And it being like crafted versus being very obviously someone on like their soapbox. And obviously this writer wanted to make a horror film about it. And it just, I don't know, it it just really missed the mark for me, this film. It was really kind of disappointing. Um, This thing of him having his own followers that he had manipulated and maybe they were missionaries that went there. And it's like if they were, then like, 
Why would people not come looking for these girls and these women? Um, yeah, it, it wasn't, um, I just, I didn't, I didn't find it. I feel like it could have been so cool. And it just was like, oh, that's it. You know, like it's just them going to some basement. It's not them actually having to like solve. Like, but when they pulled back and showed that epic layout of the house, I was like, where is all of that? Like, where is them having to go through the maze? That's what they showed in the trailer. That's what they kept hammering home. That's what I want to see. And anyway, and the thing that's funny is like, I'm like, I actually have a really strong point of view about religion. I think religion is a crock of crap. Like I love spirituality and I believe in a higher power, but I actually think religion is, you know, most of religion is so capitalized and completely a joke. So it's not even that I don't even share his point of view, but when I see something that has so clearly a point of view that is so clearly biased and it's not presented in a way that's actually interesting, that's presented in a way that helps alter the occurring for people around something or has you see something in a different way, then it's not interesting to me. Then it's like, isn't the whole point of why we do storytelling is that you walk into one world and then you walk out in a new world. So I wasn't left in a new world. I was just left in the same old world of someone kind of feeling and thinking that they're clever. So, anywho, 